Hey, hello, Gamer Noms back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the Gump Fruit, unlock Gear 4, and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Okay, so I made this video because I've seen comments, requests that you want to see Gear 4, want to max. So, guys, let's go, let's start. Okay, so I've seen your requests. So, as you can see, I've made an account. Luffy Yarn, and we already have 18 spins. So we're gonna start this grinding by spinning races. Sadly, we did not get the D Clan, but there you go, we got the race Dragonoid. So, yeah, let me first show you our goals. So, first up, we need to reach 750 to get gear 2, next gear 4, and max level. So, Gamer Now, my level 16. Guys, I started this count by doing AFK grinding to get spins. Okay, so we started level 16. And we already have the Gomu Punch. So guys, this is a Z skill. This is one of the most helpful skills that you will have with this fruit so far in the game. Guys, a Z skill, after that left clicks, and that's it. At level 20, you can start the Amelia Pumpkin Patch quest. And what you only need to do is get 5 pumpkins. There you go, see that guys? To get lots of experience. So we can only do this uh, at least once every 5 minutes. So there you go. Okay, so we've reached level 27. And after that, we can start defeating the boss, okay? The bandit boss, this one, level 25. And we will also unlock our X skill, Bazooka. So guys, again, uh, nothing special about these skills, but you can make a combo by using your Z skill, left clicks, there you go. And X skill to finish it up. Oh, not yet dead. <laughs> Anyways, we will be unlocking our C skill, Gatling, here. Okay, now we have a combo, the Z and C skill. I'm gonna show it to you later. We're gonna leave this area at level 40. Okay, so next stop is the Clown Island. Okay, first target is the Pirate Clown. So guys, lure them, use your Z and C skill, and that's it. So it, it really depends to you. You can interchange them, C or Z skill, that's it. Also, you can incorporate your left clicks, okay? So there you go, guys. Grind here until level 60. After that, next stop, Clown Boss. You can see the level there. This out, we have already unlocked our Red Hawk. Hitting the enemy with this skill, check that out, the impact is so strong. <laughs> there you go. And he won't be moving after that. This is just a glitch, I think. So guys, I suggest if you really want to defeat him, just use your usual combo. Z, C, left clicks, and that's it, okay? But I think we can use that glitch to our advantage. Anyways, we're gonna grind here until level 90, but do not forget this NPC, guys. Oh, we got the Clown Nose. So guys, you can equip this one. There you go. Anyways, at level 90, we're gonna leave this area, right? But don't forget to buy or head to this NPC. There you go. Flash Step Trainer for 25,000 bellies. Level 1 is the requirement to get this one. And we have now our Flash Step. There you go. One more thing. For those who don't know where to go, just click the compass and track. There you go. They will show you where is your next quest located. Okay, so here are the stats. 60 defense all in the fruit. So next up, guys, Shark. Park. So here our target is the Fishman. So again guys, this will be repetitive. C and Z skills is enough. I don't know if this one is good or no. <laughs> there are not much variation but there you go guys. Also you can just use your Z skill plus left clicks. Okay? There you go. Okay, next target is Shark Boss at 120. Guys, uh, you can get a sword from this boss. Yes, the one he that he's using, the Shark Blade. And he is not hard to defeat. But if you're gonna ask me, I'll stay with the Fishmans because they spawn faster. There you go. Again, you have a 10% chance to get the sword. Okay. Next target at level 160. Next up, the Desert Ruins. So here, guys, we have the Desert Thief. Guys, uh, in this island, just focus on grinding this one, okay? I'm gonna show you the boss later, the bomb boss, but yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't suggest grinding there because he's too far away. You can use your slingshot to move faster towards him. But no, guys. I don't suggest this one. So there you go, guys. Level 200 is the bomb boss. Again, I don't suggest grinding him here. Go. Okay, but he is beatable. Very easy. There you go. We're, we're, we started to use our combo here now. Oh, he's not yet dead. Again, guys, it's your choice if you want to defeat him or just stay with the previous mobs. So again... We want to be more efficient here. Also, guys, the spawn time of this mob is not that fast compared to the previous mobs, okay? I hope that's clear. 
There you go. Anyways, at level 250, we're gonna leave this area and head towards the Barati or the sea restaurant. Okay, first target here is Craig Pirate. No need to worry about how you defeat them. Again, Z, Z skill. C and Z skill. <laughs> but guys, before we continue grinding here, let's head to this area. The Rocky Pillars. I don't know if this is in the map. I don't think so. So head to this uh, pillar where there are leaves. Okay. So there's an opening here or an entrance. Just look for it. And it's kind of dark. So the technique here is you just need to, yes, turn on your fast mode. And after that, guys, there you go. You will be seeing what's inside. And there is like a Tower of Hell uh, maze here. <laughs> just keep on jumping. It's not that hard. And then in the end, you can buy, there you go, the Skywalk, okay? Skywalk, yes, this is the Skywalk Trainer. So guys, this is the only NPC where you can uh, level up the Skywalk. So make sure to go back here every time you get the requirement. So for the next requirement, uh, let's check. There you go, 100,000 and level 500. So we're not there yet. So we're gonna go back to the sea restaurant and grind Craig Pirates. Okay. Alright, so guys, level 300, the next target is Craig Boss. So guys, mm, again, uh, you need to jump, go inside this area and defeat him. So as you can see, you're using a Z, C skill, left clicks, and some other skills. So it's gonna take time compared to the previous mob. So again, it really depends on you. If you want, defeat this boss or just stay with the previous mob. If you're gonna ask me, I'm gonna stay with the previous mob and make things faster. There you go. Okay, guys. So after this, next area, at level 350 is the Logue Town or Logue, I don't know, Logue Town. So guys, target here is the Marine Recruit. So guys, I forgot this. Uh, you can buy they call that the Buso Haki here. I forgot that. I, but don't worry, I'm, I'll be showing it to you later once. I think I bought it when we're already in Gear 4. So guys, next up, Tashi. This, this is the hardest a boss that I defeated. Why? Because we have low defense, right? And this one has blink. Don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, guys. See that? <laughs> nice sneak attack. We died once, but the reason why I died because I have low defense. So if you have higher defense, you can tank his attacks. And I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so I think she's dead here, but no. Boom. One, two, three, four. Guys, we almost died there. <laughs> Anyways, is there a technique here, gamer? No, I'm also having a hard time. Yes. So once you finish your combos, just dash backwards, okay, to dodge his own uh, flash step. There you go. See that? Now you can defeat her. Okay. <laughs> Easy. 450. Okay. So once you reach level 450, here are stats. There you go. Defense 150 only. 100 combat and all in the fruit. Next up, tall woods. So guys, here again, just focus on the monkeys. Why? The gorillas are far away. Again. Same uh, reasoning with the Craig Pirates. They're far. Okay. So there you go. Let's keep on defeating them. And 550 King Gorilla. So I'm just gonna show you how to defeat this one. Actually, it's easy. Left clicks, Z skill. Left clicks. See that we're starting to use combo here. Z skill. And after that, Z skill is on cooldown. There you go. And left clicks. That. Oh, no damage. Z. C. Left clicks combination. Okay. There you go, guys. What is the target level here? It's 600. Okay, so here are the stats again. Okay, Fruit 1397. Next up, guys, Marine Base Town. So here you can buy the Observation Hockey now. Cool. <laughs> Drip. Okay, so the cost is 150,000 and level 600. There you go. So target here, Marine Grunts. Again, same strategy. Guys, you can use the E-Skill here or the Slingshot. So jump easily towards the quest giver. There you go. Okay, guys. So keep on grinding here until you reach level 650. And our target now is Marine Captain. So again, once you are used to your combo, you can easily defeat bosses here. Guys, there's also a chance that you might get uh, his accessory. Well, let's defeat him first. There you go. Okay. So guys, accessories are Iron Jaw, increases stamina and health regeneration. There you go, looks good. Anyways, we're gonna continue defeating him until we reach level 700. Okay, so after that, next up is this one, the Tree Islands. 
So guys, here, as you can see, we've already reached level 700 and we bought the flash ship level 2. So guys, target is Satire or Satire. I don't know how you pronounce it. And we're just gonna reach level 750 here and we're gonna unlock gear 2 and gear 4. Finally, guys. So we're gonna head to Bubble Island. There you go. And look for an NPC. So the location of the NPC, the fitness trainer. There you go. I'm gonna show it to you. So you won't be confused. There you go. Okay, just turn right and there's an entrance here. You will find the fitness trainer. There you go. Okay, so this is a gear 2 trainer. Requirements level 750 and 100k. Once unlocked, you will have increased damage. Actually, yeah, you're faster too. <laughs> I'm not sure, but guys, check this out. Per hit from the C skill has 109 damage, right? So once you turn into gear 2nd, our damage is 120. So that's obvious that the damage increased. Okay, so after this, we're gonna fight gear 4 Luffy in this island. Luffy, okay. So guys, can we defeat him? Yes. Also, use your observation hockey because there's a chance that you might get hit maybe once or twice. But that is not enough to defeat us. There you go. Also, the, I think Dragon. Uh, what's, what's our uh, race? It's Dragon something Dragon. It has plus one observation hockey, which is a big help, I guess. Okay, another dodge. So guys, as you can see, he is beatable, right? So no need to look for other friends. There you go, guys. We got the gear for book. Yes, we are lucky. <laughs> I think we defeated it thrice. Only thrice. There you go. There's a book and you only need to use it. And we will be unlocking our gear 4. Is that fast? Yes, it's fast to be honest. I think we just got lucky. There you go. And guys, here you go. Gear 4. Now we are done with our first and second goal now. Time to reach max level with this form. Okay, so now guys, check this out. We have a flight now. C skill, but... I'm gonna fix that later. <laughs> this is not how it should look like when flying. So back to the satires or satires. <laughs> Just one skill, guys. B skill is enough. So guys, we're gonna try our skills with the Minotaur. So Z, that's the Z skill. Kong gun. This is a double culverine. Next up, we're gonna use the Kong organ. Or this is the new C skill. There you go. And again, our most powerful skill, the King Kong gun. So guys, we're just gonna grind the previous mob. Just use B skill and that's it. Okay? <laughs> Okay, so next up guys, Marine HQ, and our first target, the Elite Marines. So guys, just one B skill, at first is not enough, you need to use another skill, but once you've increased your fruit stats, you can one hit them. Okay, so again, I suggest just grind here, but I will show you the Vice Admiral, again, 850 level. There you go, he's easy to defeat, but again, he's far, yeah, to be honest, he's far, so we're not gonna grind here. There you go. So next up is Ice Admiral at level 900, and he is also easy to defeat, guys. This is Gear 4 Luffy. Luffy. Okay, why do I call it Luffy? Because uh, I'm a Filipino, so that's how most of us call it. Guys, you can also get the key here, the Tremor key. So just enter it here, and you will summon, uh, I think it's a Lady Tremor. Okay, so guys, if you want to get the Vicento V2, defeat her first and get the White Orb. After that, head to one of the towers here, and they will give you the Bicento. After that, defeat her again to get Bicento V2, okay? So, this is a boss, meaning can we defeat her? Yes. Again, guys, we, we already defeat Gear 4 at level 750. This is just a piece of cake. Unless there's other players here that might want to kill you. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. So, guys... We're gonna grind here until 950, and after that, next area is the Sky Islands. So here, I'm gonna be fast. Just focus on Sandorian Warriors. That's it, guys. Okay, how? Okay, get the quest. Use B skill, and that's it. Easy, right? Easy, guys. Easy. Okay, just repeat this one, and you can reach your target level really fast. But don't worry, I'm gonna skip the whole island. I'm gonna show you all the mobs here. Okay, so next mob would be, there you go, Divine Soldier. If you want to grind here, go for it. Just one B skill is enough. Next up, guys, is the Holy Soldier. I think you need two skills here. Oh, no, 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 you don't need it. <laughs> next up is Thunder God. Guys, you can get the pole here. And yes, he is easy to defeat. Our target level here is level 1150. 
again just stay with the previous mobs okay so after this next island is a revolutionary base so our target the revolutionary uh again easy one hit <laughs> Next up is the Elite Revolutionaries, Revolutionary Elite. There you go, guys. This is easier. Why? Because they are near the quest giver. So, guys, you just stay here. So, technique here, use V first. Aim here. Guys, you can do it near the quest giver. Okay, V and B. Okay, again, this one, V. There you go, and B. Okay, that's it. Stay here. I'm going to show you the Revolutionary boss, but no need to grind here. He, he's, uh, he spawns really slow. Spawn times really slow. And guys, uh, yeah, there you go. It will take longer for you to grind here. Just focus with the revolutionary elites, okay? So after that, guys, level 1,300. Next up, Impel Jail. Again, just focus here with the Impel Guards. Don't mind the other mobs here. Also, guys, you can position yourself just near the quest giver. Use your V skill, the Kong Organ, and that's it, okay? There you go. But yeah, I'm going to show you the other mobs here just to be fair. Guys, this is wrong, actually. Yeah, I'm just showing to you how I finished it. <laughs> v and B. Just use V. Okay, next up, Impel Elite. One hit, I think. There you go. Okay, next up, guys, is... There you go, this one. <laughs> the Warden. So, why is he chasing us? Let's transform. But, it's too late. We have low defense. We can attack their damage. I mean, their yeah, their damage. But, guys, if we hit first, everyone's easy to defeat. There you go. So target here is 1,500. Next island, but before that, guys, stat check. Max fruit by this time now, so it really depends on you what's next. But I prefer defense. Okay, next area, cold island. Target is corrupt marine. So guys, stay here, corrupt marine, okay? I'm gonna show you Vergo and the other one, but guys, please stay here. This is the fastest way to grind here. <laughs> As I even almost decided to just stay here and skip the next island. Here guys, Virgo, there you go. Again, he's far even if you have flight. Again, flight has cooldown. So it's really slow to grind with him even though he has uh, he gives out more experience. Also, he's no harpy. There you go. So again, they're easy to defeat. But they're far from the quest giver which makes grinding really slow when fighting them. So again, focus on the first mob. Next up guys, the... Fishman Island. So guys, I don't suggest grinding here. Island Fishman, right? Easy to defeat. If you want to grind, just grind here because the other mob, the next uh, mob to this one uh, is... Wait, I'm going to show it to you. There you go, guys. The Fishman Elite, they're so far away. You need to lure them first. Again, this is what I'm talking about. I forgot to buy the Buso on the Logue Town. Just want to sh uh, share it to you. Also, I decided to go back to Sanji to buy the skywalk to have more jumps okay so the requirement level 500 plus 100,000 bellies okay anyways guys if you want you can fight neptune level 1700 why if you there's a chance that you might get his accessory and with that you can fight uh, underwater which is good right yeah devil fruits will have no damage if you get his uh hat or his crown or whatever <laughs> also you can get his trident here just keep on defeating him again and if you get a fork yes there you go mysterious fork just give it to this mob there you go guys F flying is uh, fixed the flight is fixed give this to him and he will give you the trident okay you a bigger fork blah blah okay there you go trident okay okay guys so again next island is the skull island so here our first target is the skull pirate yeah, just focus here. You need two skills by now. They're getting stronger. The enemy's getting stronger. There you go. Okay. Next up, Pirate Elite. Guys, don't do this. Don't fight them here. It's hard to lure them. They're far away compared to the previous one. So again, I don't suggest grinding here. You will also encounter this mob, Shiryu. So guys, uh, if you want to get his sword, yes, fight him. The drop rate. I don't know the drop rate, guys. But yeah, there you go. Just fight him. And there is a chance that you might get... Not the sword, guys. Wait, what is that? The scroll. Yeah, I think it's the scroll. Let's wait for it. There you go, guys. The scroll and just head towards the skull. If you're facing the skull to the right. Wait, I'm going to show it to you. There you go. That's the skull, right? Here's the scroll. And there's an NPC here. Oh, it's the at the back. Sorry. Okay, just give it to him. There you go. And that's it. The Ryu. 
here is how the Ryu looks like. Anyway guys, we're going to stay here until we reach level 1900. Here we go. So next up, the Bubble Island. So this is the area where we got the G4, right? And from the G4, you can unlock the flash step here for 200,000 bellies plus level 1500. That is the requirement. Level 2 Observation Hockey is also located here. Okay, first target guys is the Pirate. So again, uh, I suggest you just grind this mob. There are two other mobs here, but it's easier to grind here because it's near the quest giver. Also guys, again, you don't want to be fighting G4 here because you need lots of skills to defeat it. So guys, don't worry. I'm still going to show it to you. There you go, level 2000. Fighting G4 versus G4 or Gear 4. There you go. So guys, we were able to defeat this when we're still at Gear 2. Meaning this will be a piece of cake. There you go. As long as you reach 2050, it's your choice. Okay, so next up, we're gonna grind the thriller boat. So our target here is skeleton. Remember, guys, in Blast Fruits, you can get bones from this one. But here there are no bones. There you go. Again, you need two skills to defeat them. Easy. Also, you can grind the mummies here, but yeah, I don't suggest it. <laughs> And my reason is, they're so far away from the quest giver. But again, it's your choice. The final mob here is a boss. Guys, who knows Ryuma? Here, he is called Ryami. <laughs> so guys, you can get a sword from him. Or, uh, he also has the accessory as you can see, the blue scarf. I was able to get the accessory, but the sword, no, no. In another account. Anyways, as you can see, we're defeating him easily. Again, this this uh, fruit with the G4 is really OP. Obviously, it's like in the anime. There you go. We got the blue scarf. So for the stats, good for sword users. There you go. Plus 10% increase in sword damage, 650 health, and 10 stamina. Also, guys, there you go. Once you reach level 2200, you can now head to the starter island and look for this NPC, Dimensional Sailor. So this sailor will look for the pony... Poneglyph, okay, Poneglyph. So guys, it's located here in the area where we got the Skywalk, right, Sanji, but in the middle pillar. Here, guys, okay, there's an opening here, this one, and there you go. That's where you will find the Poneglyph scroll. Just go back to the dimensional sailor and welcome to the second sea. Again, guys, requirement is level 2200. Okay, so let's make things fast. Time to grind. The first target in the first area is the Samurai. So guys, again, uh, there are uh, these mobs are a lot stronger to the previous one. So I think you need three skills to beat them. Okay, so guys, if you're planning on defeating uh, mobs that are farther, then you will spend more time. Like for example, the Strong Samurais. Uh, actually, they're just near the Samurai. So guys, it really depends on you if you want to defeat them. There you go. But guys, Again, if an enemy is near the quest giver, focus on them. Even if they give out less experience, that's fine. Next up, guys, Shinobi. Again, you don't need to fight these mobs. I'm just showing you. After the Shinobis, comes the Shinobi Elites. So they're the most dressed <laughs> mobs that I've seen. Looks good too. So there you go, guys. Again, easy to defeat. They're just near the Shinobis. Maybe they're teaching them, right, to become stronger. There you go. Three skills. Less than one full combo of the G4, Gumfruit Gear 4. Okay, so guys, at level 2400, next one is... Oh, this is where uh, Luffy trained, right? Udon Prison. So first up, Officer Guard. So again, three skills, three hits. So yeah, it's really harder to grind here compared to the uh, first C, obviously, right? There you go. Okay, so guys, we're gonna skip the Sergeant Guards, but I'm gonna show you this one. One of Kaido's commanders, right? The Mammoth Boss. It really looks the same if you compare it to the anime. Okay, but not as strong. <laughs> yeah, look really weak, guys. But again... Gamer, did you grind here? No, guys, I did not because it is far away from the quest giver. So again, you're gonna grind here until level 2550. And after that, we will now head to the final island. 
below where we will grind. Oh, a sea beast, guys. Hmm. Okay. So this sea beast, actually, this is not the final island. Sorry. We're just gonna fast forward and defeat this one. Guys, this is not the final island. There we go, the snowy graveyard. So first target, the grave robber. Oh, guys, if you're gonna ask me, I just, uh, this is the area where I grind. <laughs> this is where you will also fight Zoro. Yeah, the three sword style user. Guys, uh, again, I'm gonna mention that. Shout out to the maker of the three sword style. It's really good. I skipped this one. Let's go straight to three sword style boss. Guys, if you saw the skills of this uh, sword style, it's really good, I'm telling you guys. It's really OP, the way it looks like. Anyways, it's easy to defeat. Also, some information regarding this area. Guys, uh, it's really good here in this area. I mean, uh, this is where the white sea beast usually spawns in this island. So, if you're, you're trying to unlock the... A sea beast hammer, this is the area to fight those white sea beasts. Okay, I hope that's clear. Okay guys, so at level 2700, final island, the desert city. So first mob is the desert pirate. So guys, uh, I think this is the only area that you should grind because uh, you need to lure the enemies first. Actually, you need to lure the enemies here, but it's harder to grind on the next mob. <laughs> Anyways, I reached level 2850 here which means I skip this mob there you go desert captain and yeah the desert boss don't worry I'm gonna show you the desert boss this is crocodile right so it's crocodile okay there you go so guys I think that's it we will be reaching max level here and they will release a gear 5 Luffy okay so yeah let's wait for that one kind of excited with that good thing that we already have gear 4 so we will just need to like look for the requirements to unlock gear 5 okay so again guys i hope this video was able to help you grind or get excited about getting the gear 4 again i hope that you enjoyed this one to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and we just reached max level gamer nom out